Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, everyone. This is Mogul Motivation, episode 197. And earlier this week, I was listening to E.T., the Hip Hop Preacher's podcast, The Secrets of Success. And um, they mentioned that a recent study by a psychologist concluded that about 80% of our natural thoughts are negative. That's basically four out of every five thoughts that we have. This is why it's so important we consume positivity at every single chance we get, every single day. We are already fighting a losing battle when we wake up. We have to escape from Troll City. When you're building a business, when you're doing a podcast or putting your energy into whatever project or dream your heart desires, don't read the comments. Stop reading the comment section. Stop listening to the critics. Understand that it's a difference between constructive criticism and flat out negativity. You see, the former's ultimate aim is to help you improve and get you to the next level, while the latter is only meant to tear you down and ruin you. And that's what the comment section is filled with. That's what critics are spewing, negativity. And if 80% of your thoughts are already negative from the jump, Then imagine what all of this negative language is going to do for your mindset. It's going to reinforce those lies and it will hinder your process and your progress. Escape from Troll City. When you allow trolls and negative people to weigh you down and discourage you, you're being selfish. You are literally being selfish. You are doing a disservice to the people that do believe in you, the people that are counting on you, your team members in your business, your customers and your clients that love your products and services, your true family members and friends, those social media friends that you never met but love what you are doing. These people get the short end of the stick when you allow negative people in your life that don't even matter to stop you in your tracks. How are you gonna let a stranger who hasn't contributed an ounce of energy to any of your dreams crush them? How are you going to let somebody who doesn't even have a drop of ambition knock you off your course? Don't focus on what these trolls have to say. Their words, their energy carries no weight whatsoever. The people that love you and love what you are doing, the people that believe in your vision, these are the people who deserve your attention and who should control your drive, who should make you go harder. You have a purpose in your life to do something great. A troll's only purpose in life is to criticize what other people have produced. Think about that. Their only mission is to spew negativity at what somebody else has done. They put so much energy typing entire essays on social media for captions, gossiping for hours and hours about what they should have would have done differently, but they don't produce anything. A troll has no substance. A troll only talks and talks. Meanwhile, you're working. You're building. You're creating separation. Don't give anybody like that attention anymore from this day forward. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Very short, very brief. If this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, please leave a review and pass on to a friend, somebody else who may benefit from it as well. It would truly mean a lot to me. So in the meantime, let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. And stop reading the comments. Turn the comments off, matter of fact. Only listen to positive feedback from your MVPs, the most valuable people in your life. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.